This video demonstrates step four and five of the Open Roads Designer ProjectWise Dynamic Workspace Deployment Guide. So in step three, we created the CSBs. And so now for step four, we need to le link these CSBs to our projects. So this can all be dependent on how you wanna do it. The easy way for me is I'm just gonna assign all of the CSBs to this configuration since they're all dynamic. So you right click, select properties, go to this workspace tab. And first we'll add the predefined, just double click and it's this ORD configuration route is the one I created. And then we want to add the dynamic workspace CSB, which is this one right here. And you just want to go through and select the ones that you had. Yours may be named different depending on how you named them. And so these will all be inherited. So just click OK. So example, if I go right here, which is where the DGNs are going to be, and I select properties, you can see that it has all of them. And so these dynamic workspace and work set names, it, they apply to any. You don't have to assign it every single time to different workspaces and work sets because it'll dynamically pull the name for each of them. And so that's really step four, which is pretty easy. And then um, we want to open it in Open Roads Designer just to make sure that all is working. So to test this, let's just go to document, new document. And let's just create a blank DGN from a seed file. That's the, lo where, the location of where we want it to go. And let's browse to our seed file. So that will be Let's go to Configuration, Organization, Civil, Imperial, Seed. I'm just going to use the Seed 2D. I'll click Open. Next. I'll call it Test. You can call it whatever you want. And select the application, which is Open Rose Designer. and finish. Okay, so uh, let's double click and open this up. If this is the first time to open it, it may take a while to download all of your DGN libs and the workspace to your computer. I've done this already, so it shouldn't take too long on my end. And it's just making sure everything is up to date. And now Open Rose Designer is launching. Okay, now that it's loaded, we can go to make sure to see if the workspace loaded correctly. So you can click on File, then go to Settings, Configuration, About Configuration. So now you can see that it's it pulled down my CFG from ProjectWise and it's sa saving them in my DMS locations. You can see that the correct CSPs are there. So my workspace has been loaded correctly, and that's the end of the document.